So today we're going to change out the gimbal camera of the Hubson Zeno Mini Pro. Mine, the problem with it was, it had distance focal issues. Everything in the distance looked mushy and the horizon tilt could not be fixed. So Hubson sent me a new gimbal and we're going to put it in today. Let's get to it. Okay, removing the gimbal from the Zeno Mini Pro. Should be simple enough process according to all the videos. We have four screws, one, two, three, and four. And then it should flip forward and expose two cables. You can see them under here, okay? And we'll do a close up a little later. So let's take the four screws out. Shall remember where these screws are. place them here. Okay, one, two, three, and four. Do not let them fall into the cavity. There we go. One, two, and we have to get these out here. I don't have a magnet, so we're going to Pause this and I'm going to get a magnet. Okay, we just have to get rid of these two here. Let's see if I can get them out. There's one. I'll put that on the back here. So these are the two at the front. If I can. Don't lose them. And we'll get this one out of here. There it is. So there's the two back and the two front. Now then, this is supposed to come off, which it does. We just kind of wiggle back and forth. Let's flip this around and we'll zoom in. See what we have. Okay. And we can raise it up a little bit. I'll put this here. Raise it up a little bit so you can see a little better. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'll bring this a little closer. And there we go. Right that way. Okay. And those are the two connectors that we have to remove. And then the whole thing is free. Okay. So if we go sideways here, we can zoom in a bit. if it was like that. Okay. So we see that underneath let's do a little pointer here. We see here there's an indent line. And this is spongy. And this is spongy. And if we look Let's get our light back on our computer here. If we look at the underneath of here, 
where are we? Here we go. Look at the underneath of there. You can see the square and the rectangular indents that are pushing on. this piece of rubber and this piece of rubber, which I have to take off. So the next step is to take off these two little pieces of rubber there and here. Let's see how we can do that without wrecking anything. Okay, let's see if it comes up at all. It's like a double-sided tape. Okay. And let's see if we have any tweezers here that can piece I'm just gonna put over here. Remember which ones they are. And we're gonna try this little piece here. And that's the back part. We're gonna put that there. Excuse me for a second. There we go. Okay. And this little piece here, oh, that whole thing came off, which is good, I guess. And that's this little clippy thing here, goes into there. It does have the rubber attached to it, so we're gonna leave that there for now, but remember it's there. Okay, now, we have to look at getting this off. And to get that off, we have to be very careful. I'm just trying, according to the Just very gently. Bingo. Well, we don't want to lose our screws, do we? One tiny screw, one tiny screw. So that's it. So let's look, have a close up if I can. Not of you, but of you. Can you look at that? What's it look like on this side? Okay. It's very flat. Hardly any at all, but there was no glue. There was no glue on it. None whatsoever. Okay, and it just kind of flipped up from the flipped up from this side here okay we just kind of touched it a little bit on this side and they say when I put it back on they say when you put it back on you're supposed to put a dab of glue here and here but there was no sticky glue on this whatsoever and this is a first batch so we're going to put this whole gimbal to the side let's go zoom out a bit here Okay, put this down here. 
And we're going to look at this. Yes, it's a batch number one. Now, you see that gray tape? Oh, pardon me, you see that gray tape? I'm supposed to remove that gray tape. Then you're supposed to get better um, GPS signal. But I've never really had a problem with it. So should I remove it or leave it? I think I'm going to leave it. Unless I get some information from Hubson. So the next step is to reverse the process and just get the new gimbal, which I have right here. So this is the new gimbal, okay? And it's got a cable on it, which the irony is, yeah, okay. So it goes on that way, and yeah, we'll have to figure that out. It goes on that way, so I flip it over, I press this down, and It appears to have some tape on it. Now this is the old one. It appears to already have tape on it. So we're going to see what happens there. Okay. And we'll come back. So this appears already to have that little piece of tape on there. And we're going to, you can see in there, that's the cable. But let me clean this up. I'm going to see if I can get back to Hubson to see if I can remove that tape or not. And we'll come back and we just reverse the process. Let's have a real close up of this. Okay, so we can look at how it's got to go back together. Okay, very precise. Just one note before we go any further. This is the new gimbal. Okay? It's very delicate. And I'm looking at the grommets here and here. Okay? Let's look at the old one. Let's look at the old one. Okay? They've got glue on here and here. And on the other side, they have glue here and here. The old one. That's the old one. The new one. Doesn't have anything. Really. Maybe it does a little bit, but not near as much. What happened to this one here? Okay. So this is the new one. Okay. This is the new one. Yes. Okay. 
So let's see if we can put it back together now. We know it goes in this way. But I've got to get this back into there. So we know that goes there. But we're going to put this on first. Okay, so let's see if we can get this on here first. And we're going to use a little stick. Let's see if we can get this in here somehow. I think I got it. I lost a screw, but I got it. There we go. So that appears to be there. Okay. And this comes out. And it is in there. This one has to go into here somehow like this. Now, does that look about right? Let's see if we can get a closer look at that one. Okay, does this look about right? I think so. And I pushed it down as hard as I can. Okay, and that's on there. So we're going to put these two pieces of tape back on there. Okay. So we're going to put that piece of tape there. And this piece of tape here. Okay. 
Okay, so we've put the piece of tape back on. Okay, let's see if we get this back in. So that's got to go. Let's go zoom out a bit. Let's wait till we zoom out. So how does this goes in there? There we go. Just kind of fits in there like that. How's that look under there? Can we see in there? Can we see in the hole? Looks like it's out of the way. Okay. And we just gotta put that pressure there. Let's put it back together. Now I have to be careful with these because they're so tiny. That's one. So I'm not going to screw them down too tight just yet. Number two. A little bit. A little bit. Look, let's get this little tiny guy in here. We can put this in to this guy, maybe not, hmm, where can we put this in here, okay, See if we can get him in there. I, th I think we got him in there. Now it's always the last one, isn't it? It's always the last one you're going to have trouble with. Get this guy in here. Hmm. Can I there we go? So let's tighten this up a bit. Let's tight. Let's tight. Let's tight. That one's tight. Come on. A little tight. 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 Okay. Hopefully, that's it. So do we have free movement? Okay, we have left, right, left, right, left, right, up, down. It's the left and the right. Nothing interferes with anything. Okay, we have to do, let's hope that's it. So we'll go through a whole other process of reevaluating what I've just done and go from there. So let's 
get a battery in this and see what happens. I have to clean up the lens first. We'll see you then. Okay, Hubson Xeno Mini Pro. What we're going to do is, this is our first fire up from changing the gimbal. So let's start. Here we go. First start up with the gimbal. Let's power it up. Everything looks pretty good. I did all the calibrations, no errors, no gimbal mistakes, nothing. And that's about when everything went south. I did 10 or 15 little test flights, and this is about the best I got. Uh, a lot of shake, a lot of shake and noise. I heard noise coming from the gimbal. So, what to do? Well, only one thing to do. Go back to the drawing board, take out the new gimbal, replace it with the old gimbal, and see if there's any difference. So that's what I did. Brought it back in, charged up the batteries, did the whole procedure again backwards, replaced it with the old gimbal, and brought it back out for a test flight. No obstacle avoidance mode. Please fly with caution. When I went back over this video, I saw this uh, little snapshot here, uh, back around 1420, 1425, I think, in the video. And the only thing I can think of is that maybe this grommet, maybe it's damaged, and maybe it's preventing the gimbal from operating properly. That's the only thing I can think of. But in any event, uh, the gimbal's no good, obviously, uh, because the old one I put back in had no issues, no problems. Same as it was before, and when I put the new one in, we heard that, or I heard that buzzing, that grinding noise. So there you go. But this video was basically a tutorial on how to change out your gimbal, and it's uh, not that hard. If I can do it, anybody can do it. And there are several videos, and Hubson did send me a video on how to do it, and it involved all kinds of UV glue or yellow glue and all this kind of stuff. And it seems there are many, many different variations of how these units are put together. So one video may not be 100% accurate to another video. In any event, it's not such a daunting task once you get into it. Just be careful. Don't lose the screws. Okay? Change out your gimbal if you want, if you need to. Good luck. And hopefully I'll get another one and I'll be more successful. Thanks for watching. Hope it helps. See you next time.